hello guys i just want to share with you something i think it's very rewarding uh, if you want to create nice 2d uh, uh, like realistic smooth 2d animations as you can see here i use bandicam um, and camtasia studio and also blender okay to um, catch the frame by frame animation as i play the animation in blender as you can see there this is the dying animation uh, I first went to Mix Mixamo online and I downloaded the character with some animations and imported it into Blender. Okay, I'm first showing you guys, um, this was the previous video, a tutorial on how to download the character and all of that. And I also showed you how to uh, take uh, screenshots of the character's animation so that you can save it into one file. Okay, I'm going to show you. I need to delete that one. I'm just checking the animations so I need to keep the character within the frame as you can see this is a very complex um, method because as we all know um, the dying animation the character is falling backwards so you need to keep the character in the frame this is the idle animation there's nothing much going on there but as you can see it, it's the idle animation this is the running animation um, I've got four animations there for my character okay so um, I'm not using any bones or um, applications sprite applications to create this animation it's just a basic blender GIMP and I'm gonna uh, create a 2d game in copper cube okay so there's the animation I took away. This is the previous um, attempt. I was successful, so I'm now showing you guys how to do that. How to get this that nice um, realistic character walking in your 2D space. Okay. So um, I'm in GIMP and I'm gonna discard that. I'm gonna start over from scratch. Okay, let me just. Uh, Large that I'm gonna go to file open as layers and I'm gonna go to the directory where all my animations is okay so I'm gonna choose an animation I think I'm going to stick with that with walking with the walking animation okay since there's a lot going on I'm gonna use this there's a lot of frames also so we need to put transparency on all these frames that's why I gave it a green screen okay you're gonna see now I use the color green it gives me a perfect uh, character with no smudges or any complications there is an animation uh, application also within the animation player within blender 2.10 if you guys don't know now you know this is where I am now in the if you don't know this I'm just setting it up okay so my animation can play smoothly you can go to the settings and you can do the same as you can see there the character is walking that is a nice smooth 2d animation as you can see guys okay I don't mind the pixel pixel art um, but I would like to create a nice 2d game more realistic like looking like 3d okay in a 3d environment or something like that um, now I'm on the right hand side at the bottom of this um, application it's GIMP 2.10 and I'm just um, hiding all the frames every image I'm hiding the image the reason why I'm hiding the image is because I want to work on one individual image at a time so I can see all my flaws and if it, if it looks nice okay I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go to layer and I'm gonna put it some transparency a color to alpha okay and I'm gonna choose the color picker go on green and I'm gonna pull down the opacity to zero and that should be suffice you can play around with the threshold but I don't recommend it okay as you can see there is the character with this transparency and it looks good you can enhance it if you want to make it more smooth but I'm gonna leave it as such pixelated okay now you just hide and unhide and you just go to filter and you repeat 
this process to all the frames in your in your hierarchy okay hide unhide and just go to filter repeat color to alpha okay to all of them make sure you don't miss out on one because that one will show up in the animation with a green background that's why double check and always save your project as you work applications has the audacity to just crash in your face especially when you've done a lot of work it just crashes okay so I'm repeating this process to every frame I'm not gonna forward fast forward this uh, video you guys can f skip this video if you want to but uh, I don't recommend you skipping the video as you need to watch this full video step by step I'm showing you how to get the realistic nice animations 2D animations in your game you can also use trees throw it into blender put a green screen at the back and you uh, render that tree out as screenshots frame by frame and then you just give it the transparency alpha in GIMP as you can see you follow the same process and then all your 2D animations you can give it a 3D look okay more realistic look pixel art will never go grow old in, to, in 2D games because it's very lightweight and it's not a lot of people that are very good in creating art doing art you know drawing or creating 3D models but pixel art is very easy it's child's play and there's a lot of sprite uh, applications out there that can help you and some tutorials also that can show you how to create your own pixel art characters this like I said is a more advanced 2D uh, um, character it's taken from a video shot basically from a mp4 from Camtasia studio and I made some screenshots from the animation from the character in blender and that was the final result this is the last one let me just give you this alpha and then we can move along okay let me unhide all the frames again this is step two I'm gonna show you the animation play I'm gonna play back the animation for you now with transparency now you can put backgrounds or anything or you can drop the character into your game you know give it some um, scripting moving left and right whatever but um, this is just a preparation guys there's all your frames okay double check now let's go to animation playback and I'm just going to enlarge the playback screen and I'm gonna play it there you go as you can see but it's it's walking the animation is playing too fast I'm gonna put it on times one okay that's more realistic okay it's a more relevant nice speed for the character to walk but as you can see guys there's your animation there's your 2d character realistic zombie okay you can create your own or download your own character from mixamo um, you would need to watch the first uh, part of this video that is how I import and download my character by Mixamo import it to Blender give Blender a green screen and then I uh, import all the animations within the one character multiple animations and then I work from the I set give me um, uh, put up a nice setup for me so that I can take some images from my from my character doing his animations okay so you need to watch that video go to my channel watch that video and then you can come back and then you will know what I'm busy with here okay because everything will look very bizarre for you because you haven't followed the first uh, part of this video okay I'm gonna export it as a gift just to have a look how it renders out of GIMP 
Okay. I can't even export it as a batch file to get all that uh, images as individual images. Can I? I don't know. I'm not so familiar with GIMP. But I think there must be a way where you can create um, like a batch file. So you can get all that images into one folder. But anyway, alright. There you have it. My name is 3 ms Tutorials. Um, I'm showing you how to uh, create some cool realistic uh, character animations, 2D animations for your 2D games. Okay, enemies or players doesn't really matter. You can just follow this, the, st the same steps for, for, for whatever animation or character you are using. Okay. Um, what to do now is um, I'm just browsing here guys looking for something if I find it you'll know there's the layers so I'm un unable to export the layers as is as as is now you are not able to can't even click on it so that's a no go okay so I just need to export it as a gift gift image at the end of the day but yeah I hope you followed along guys um, this video is not um, for beginners to be honest with you if you follow along you will be able to copy exactly what I've done here but it's more for experience and adva advanced uh, game creators and uh, developers game developers ok so let me just save it as a GIF GIF file I want to see how it renders outside of GIMP ok as animation I'm gonna go with the 100 milliseconds use disposal entered above for all frames ok interface interlace one frame per layer replace ok export now it's exporting there it's done now let's go to the directory where the file is open up open up ok let's go to walk there's the shift open with Internet Explorer Internet Explorer it has a flash player it's an old uh, browser but it's still working properly ok let me just close all of this windows here and this one also where is we now where is we now where is us now us for doing there we are as you can see that is in a browser it's quite slow we need to speed up the process there but there you have a nice character guys without doing any uh, adding bones or any frame by frame going through all that pain all you need to do is let blender do the work for you and gimp do the editing for you if you are if you are very good at photoshop you know you can also edit your animation there or whatever you want to do you can use photoshop you can use gimp it's up to you it doesn't really matter but just follow these steps guys and then you bring a new face into 2d games a new type of uh, graphics for for 2d games we are not sick of pixel art it's only we need to bring in a change there's no change in 2d uh, gaming and it's very lightweight so if we can manipulate the 2d environment looking into like a 3d environment it can give the player more 
satisfying experience playing your games and I think the, that that person will also follow your 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 products your games all your games you create it they will that person will download your games and try it out okay then you have someone like a potential follower and someone who's buying your product your work and who's also uh, 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 who's liking your your work okay so I'm in Krita there's nothing I can do here there is absolutely nothing I can do here as you can see I just open up Krita there's a bunch of applications out there uh, drawing applications that doesn't have the uh, ability GIMP is offering you GIMP 2.10.3.4 Okay, doesn't matter which version you use, but it must be GIMP 2.10. So there is your animation, your character outside of GIMP, out, outside of your application where you edited your, your, your animations. Okay, as you can see, there's the frames. Um, and don't forget to go to my channel, guys. Uh, smack that like button if you like this video, if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Or if you want to follow up on the next part of this video. Okay. Um, let's see what I need. I need to delete this one. It's too slow. There is it. It's faster now, as you can see. I just pulled down the speed a bit there by Kim. And I think that is the, the, the speed we need. Okay. I'm going to show you how you can put this character on a road. Walking. Endless walk. Okay. With a nice sunset at the background. Uh, that's why I said you just need to follow me. And I will take you uh, places. Okay. My name is 3D Mess Tutorials. I thank you for following this video up until the end. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. If you really want to support my channel, hit that bell notification icon so no YouTube can notify you whenever I upload new videos like this one. I'm out. Thank you for watching.